Hey everyone, it's Bidigon Cuba here and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be teaching you to look OLL on Rubik's Cube. So once F2L is done, you then do something called OLL. OLL can solve the entire top face in just one algorithm. However, to be able to solve OLL in just one algorithm, you will need to know 57 algorithms. So instead, you can do something called two look OLL. What makes two look OLL so much easier to learn is that you will only have to learn 10 algorithms instead of 57. The way how two look OLL works is firstly, you will solve the yellow cross. After, you will solve the yellow corners in another algorithm. And this can be done very quickly, so make the cross and solve the corners. And if 10 algorithms does sound like a lot, I'll be trying to make this video as simple as possible. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications because this channel is all about the Rubik's Cube with new content coming out every week. Anyways, I hope you get value out of this video. And also, if you have any questions about what I go through, then feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Anyways, now let's go ahead with the algorithms. The first part of two look OLL is solving the cross. Now for this, you can either have one of the these four combinations one of these cases has a horizontal bar the other case has a letter l the other case has no edges oriented and if you have this case already then you've skipped this step so let's start with the one where you have a horizontal bar so this is actually the easiest case all it is is f and then the right yaug and if you don't know what the right yaug is it is r u r prime u prime f prime and it's again you do f r u r prime u prime f prime the next case is recognized with the letter l shape and for here it's actually a very similar algorithm all you have to do is hold the l shape in the front right of the cube and all you need to do is do the same algorithm as what you did before but starting off with an f wide move the way how an f wide move is is it's actually just an f but with two layers at once and if you want to know some interesting other types of cube notation then i highly recommend you watch the video in the top card and in the description so again it starts with a small f the right yaw so r u r prime u prime f wide prime and again it's f wide r u r prime u prime f wide prime and finally if you have a dot on top all you have to do is just start off with the algorithm i showed you at the beginning so f r u r prime u prime f prime and then that should give you this l shape where all you need to do is just do f wide r u r prime u prime f wide prime and that will solve the cross those were all the cases that you need to know for solving the cross these are all the final cases you need to know for two look OLL. these are all the cases where you have a cross solved on top for this set you will need to know seven extra algorithms and don't let this number overwhelm you as it shouldn't take too long as most of these algorithms can be short and easy to learn the first two cases look very similar to each other and you recognize these by seeing one yellow corner oriented and can you tell the difference between these two well the difference is is that on this side we have one facing on the right and on this side we don't have a corner facing on the right this is a case for when you have the sticker facing in front and the algorithm you might already know from the beginners method but if you don't the algorithm is r u r prime u r u2 r prime and here's a similar case so when you don't have the corner facing in front all you need to do is something like a u move but the algorithm goes like this r prime u prime r u prime r prime u2 R. For the next two cases, they're recognized with the yellow cross and no corners oriented. One of them will have headlights opposite headlights, and then the other case will have headlights opposite no headlights. So if you have headlights opposite headlights, hold one of the headlights in front of you, it doesn't really matter, and just do F and then three right yaws, and that's R U R prime U prime, R U R prime U prime, R U R prime U prime f prime for the next case where you don't have headlights opposite each other hold them on the right and do r u2 r2 u prime r2 u prime r2 u2 r again it's r u2 r2 u prime r2 u prime r2 u2 the next cases are recognized by having two corners oriented if you have headlights over here the algorithm you do is r2 d r prime u2 r 
D prime, R prime, U2, R prime. When you don't have headlights facing in front, hold this opposite one on the left and make sure these two are facing on the right. And for this case, do R ride, U, R prime, U prime, R ride, F, R f prime if this algorithm seems confusing i recommend trying this algorithm over and over again until you can eventually become familiar with it the final case may seem unfamiliar to both of these two but it does have two corners oriented so make sure that the yellow stickers are facing in front of you and for this the algorithm is actually the same as the algorithm i showed you last time but you do it backwards so for this case you do f r prime f prime r wide U, R, U prime, R prime. Congratulations on successfully learning to look outdoor on the Rubik's Cube. My next video will be on to look PLL, so stay tuned. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please let me know in the comments. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications. And I post cubing videos to this channel once every week. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!